Good morning. My name is Tony Roten and I have a thought I want to share with you today. And this thought comes to comes to mind because of some of my recent ponderings myself. I want to ask you one question because you are probably sitting in a place and you don't know what what you want, what to do. You, you have a desire, but you don't maybe know the next step. Or sometimes you don't even know what it is. And that's exactly what it is. That's exactly the question I want to ask is, what do you want? I have been helping so many people for many years. And one of the things that I've realized is so many people don't realize or recognize or identify what they want. Even myself, when I started this journey, the journey started out with the desire to help youth. I had a strong desire to help the youth. But in my process of trying to help the youth, I was taken to help the women or the mothers. As I've been helping the mothers, what's been happening is a lot of men have been showing up that have actually been abused and never processed their stuff. And what's interesting is, as I was going down this journey, and as I'm still going down this journey, the journey is not over. This is, <laughs> this is the exciting part. Journeys don't end. It's a, it's a commitment. It's a long term. There's no end to my journey. Our life is a journey and we enjoy it and we want to find joy in it. But what's interesting is when I was going for the youth, I had all my marketing materials. I was targeted to youth. They were more edgy. They were more cutting edge, more abstract, and a lot more playful. Then I received some inspiration to help the women. And this is really how it came about, as I was said, okay, if I want to help the youth, I've got to help the moms to feel worthy and validated themselves. If a mom is struggling with depression, anxiety, suicide, and all of these other emotions, and they are not well themselves, they cannot help their child. And neither can the men help their child if they are going through these issues, if they're going through these struggles. And so the inspiration I received is help the mothers to become well. A well mother can then help their child to become well. And so that was a, that was the path. I immediately changed all of my website, every, changed everything to specifically kind of target women. Well, as I've been going down this path, <laughs> men have started to come into my life of abuse and neglect and addiction and all of these different things and asking for help and knowing if I'd be able to help them or if I only do focus on women. Well, the principles are the same no matter what. And even though I focus on women, I've been helping these men too. Well... <laughs> Yet here we go again. And this is what I'm realizing is no matter what we do, it's a family journey. Now, it may not be like a traditional family, a mother, a father, and a child. It could be a grandparent and a child, or it could be it could be friends and acquaintances that form your family. It could be associations that kind of form your family. 
But what happens is what I've realized is the family is your system. Your system needs to be well for you to be well. If your system is sick, even if you start feeling better over here, a lot of times you start to feel sick again. So what we have to do is get ourselves in that position that we are so well that we are not affected by our system anymore. We've built up our barriers and it's not a negative barrier. I'm talking about our emotional barriers to say, we're not going to allow our system to make us sick anymore. We're not going to allow the negative influences to make us sick anymore. And our system really is our friends, family, associates, and, you know, clubs. Um, these are business associates. These are clubs. These are, you know, all of our, everything that's going on in life. We have seen so many children go to residential treatment. Res residential treatment costs you 30000 on average from, if you were just going to average them all out. Because there's some that are more, there's some that are less, but $30,000 a month. $30,000 spent a month to help a child to get well. The average within six months, there will be a relapse. The relapse will be so severe that there's several of them that end up back in the hospital. There's several that unfortunately don't make it out. And then there's several that they just feel worthless. They feel like, okay, my family, my system just spent $30,000 on me and here I am again. And this cycle of going to a rehab facility goes over and over and over and over again. Well, that needs to tell us immediately that there's something wrong with the system. Something is going on with the system that it's not working. The system is broken. Now, don't beat yourself up. Every system is broken in some way or another. There is not a perfect system. That is also part of the journey. But we need to realize that if our child is repeating the same behaviors over and over and over again, there's something wrong with the system. And it could be that the system is refusing to listen to them. Maybe they've been struggling for a long time and they just refuse to listen to how bad it is. The system could be a literally an abusive system within a home. Or there was a divorce situation and the child have, has never processed it well. Or maybe you have not even processed it well. There are all kinds of things that can break our system. Media can break the system. Video games, social media, social acquaintances, our friends and family. We have to be conscious and aware of what is going on in our system. You need to improve yourself first to start to repair this system. So I'm going to illustrate this here really quick. Is we have a broken system and all of these places here that have these gaps, all of our gaps represent a break. Well, you are one of those gaps. If you are over here 
you know, suicidal, depressed, anxious. I mean, the, the list could go on and on and on and on. But you are part of this system. Now, realize that by saying, well, I'm just going to remove myself. And to think that I, if you take your life, that you're going to be able to fix the system is incorrect. You do not fix your system by just removing yourself. Because you need to fix you. When you fix you, then that starts a ripple effect both ways. You can start to help the whole system. This system being your family system, your friend system. And there will be some that you need not to interact with them anymore. You will have friends that say you are struggling with drugs or you are constantly depressed and they are always depressed around you and then they fuel your depression. You will need to leave that system. You'll need to tell that person, hey, I have a, a person I would like to talk to you and refer them to a therapist or a life, somebody, a life coach who has the skills and abilities to help take them to the next level. You take them and you're helping them. But that doesn't mean that you need to stay connected. They don't need to be part of the full, your full system until they become a better and well person. But what's interesting, as you become well, then you can help that friend who is depressed, your spouse, then it filters to your children, then it filters over here to coworkers, and your system now starts to become whole. And you start to see this overarching, powerful influence. And your system becomes a strong unit. So your clubs start to recognize this. And just your religious influence, your spiritual guidance. I mean, everything becomes so much stronger, so much better. So now your system is complete. It is strong. It is whole. But it starts with you. Until you are feeling better, until you are feeling stronger, you can't really help these other people as much. But once you do strengthen yourself, once you improve your mental health, once you improve your overall confidence, self-esteem, that's when you can change the life of your children, change the life of your spouse, change the life of your family overall. And start to feel a difference in your family. To start to see the repercussions of positivity in your family. And then once that starts happening in the home, your system is full. It is strong. It is full of love. It is full of caring. It is full of you know, whatever it is you want to build in your system. It will start to radiate out more and more and more and what you'll find is people start coming to you and they're like wow i don't know what you're doing or why you're so happy or why your children are so good or what you know, whatever it the comments that come it starts with you and it will radiate out from there it will radiate to your right it will radiate to your left and it will start to heal this whole thing. There's not a broken component. And then when you have a strong system, you won't be sending your youth to, you know, residential. They might still need some therapy or something like that. But because you'll be able to support whatever the guidance and the counsel that they receive, your child will no longer be looking outward for help. Because they'll be able to say, wow, 
this system is what I need. Youth start looking outward and away from the family when they're trying to cope with something. Yes, they go out for just trying to find friends and stuff like that. But a lot of times when they start going out towards the negative behaviors, it's because they're trying to cope with something that's not working at home. It's because they're trying to cope with something that happened to them. And then they've never shared with somebody. It's because it's trying to cope with a maybe a, an anxiety that they might have and they feel like they can't talk to mom or dad. They can't talk to somebody else because everybody else seems so healthy and whole and they don't want to be the drawdown. Or maybe it's they don't feel like they can talk to you because they've always been such a good child. They've always done everything you've asked and they've been responsible. They've been you know, very athletic. They've been strong. They've been capable. And they've always just been that shining light. And something came up and they're like, wow, I just can't let mom and dad know. Because if they find out, that's going to hurt my relationship with them. And we start going into these destructive behaviors and say, they're not going to love me. They're going to... There, this big shiny bright light that I had is now going to be this little pin light. But if we have a strong and a healthy whole system, then our youth, our children, our family, our friends, when they come to us and they say, I screwed up. We're like, welcome to the club. Come on in. What's going on? Let us help. That doesn't mean we take away their responsibility to grow. That doesn't mean we take away their consequences. That doesn't mean that we don't allow them to suffer even. But they can know that within the system, they are loved. A strong system has love. A strong system cares. A strong system is supportive. You've got to look at your own family system. If you're not, if your system, again, I'm, I'm sorry I keep using this word over and over again, but it really is a group that forms and helps build a generation that builds a youth, that builds a family, that builds... It's not just one person. You alone are not a family. Me, myself, and I is just, it's just an individual. A family is a group that supports, the, that cares, that loves. And it may not be the traditional family. You may, be, you may come from an abusive father and mother that you have tru truly removed yourself because every time you get around them, it is abusive. And so you look outwards and you find friends and associates and co-workers and other individual groups that are supportive, that are encouraging, but they're encouraging and supportive in a good way. They're not... It's, it's not a bunch of drugs and alcohol and sex and, you know, it, it's not coping. It's things that are saying, hey, it's people that are saying, hey, you got this. I know it's hard, but you've got this. Man, I've seen you do some difficult things. You can do this too. Man, I'm, I'm there for you. I'm here. I, I love you. I support you. I want to do whatever I can to help you. But realize you are strong and you can do this. Now that doesn't mean we do it alone. We use our family system, our group, our system, whatever that system is. We use that to fuel us. To keep us going in the right way. And to not beat ourselves up. A healthy system does not have shame. They do not say, oh, you're a bad person. They might say, oh, that was a bad choice. But that doesn't mean you're a bad person. 
I know some amazing individuals who have done some awful things. Awful things. Things that had, before I had come to realize kind of our past affects our future, unless we are conscious of it, that honestly I would have been like, you know, hook them up to your tailgate, tie a rope around their ankle, and drive until the line goes slack. That's how callous I was in a lot of things. But I realize that a person isn't broke by themselves. A person is broke because the system is broke. I hope this doesn't create any shame. This is not to say you're bad or you're, you're not good or your system is broke. This is to help bring awareness and a conscious, mindful approach to your life right now. And you can have multiple little systems. You have a family system. You can have a co-worker's system or an employee system. You can have... But each one of these, it's just like the galaxy. It takes a bunch of stars and planets to form the galaxy. It's not just one thing. So each one of these, co-workers, friends, you, your spouse, your children, your spiritual guidance, each one of these forms your system. Each one of these forms and within themselves are their own unique system. We need to have a strong spiritual. We need to have a strong you know, clubs or hobbies. We need to have strong co-workers, friends, and spouse. We need to have that to have a completely strong system. But we can have a strong family without a strong co-workers first. Or we can have a strong friends without a strong family. As long as it is supporting, encouraging, and it is caring. Please look at each of your individual systems. This week, actually today, identify this like for your family system. Identify everybody who's there. Identify anybody who you feel may be struggling, including yourself. Identify any high emotions that may exist. Identify any frustrations. First start by healing the system by apologizing. It doesn't matter if you feel you were right or you feel you were wronged. It, it doesn't matter. What matters is you healing you. And it starts with forgiveness. You've got to reach out and say, hey, I'm sorry. You know, this struggle we've had in the family. You know, I... I was definitely part of that. And I'm sorry for the part that I had. You please forgive me. That starts the healing of the system. That starts the healing of one of your systems. I got to think of a better word for like the, the whole conglomerate. Maybe this is my galaxy and here's my planets in my systems. I don't know. But... Look at each of the smaller systems that you have. Family, friends, associates, hobbies. Which ones encourage, support, love, and care? Which ones hold the values that you espouse? Which ones are not demanding of anything from you? Which ones just accept you as you are and say, hey, I love you. Come on in. Those that are not that way, you need to evaluate if it's something that you really need to care about or if it's something that you need to let go. If it's a friend who every time 
I'm just going to use the drug analogy. Every time you see this person and they're saying, hey, dude, you want to get high? And you say, no. And the next time you see them, they say, hey, dude, you want to get high? You, that's a hard decision to make. But maybe the best decision is to say, I can't be around you anymore. I'm sorry. I am really trying to be my best self and I'm removing drugs from my life. So I can't be around you anymore if this is what you're going to be. You know what's awesome at about that point is then that person could be like, well, then fine, leave. And that's fine. Or that person could be like, Oh man, I I had no idea. And you instantly, now because you started working on yourself, you have helped this friend to start their own healing. And that's how it works, is it starts here within yourself and then it goes out. And the stronger you are, the healthier you are. The more and more influence you can make. And then you are influencing people that you had no idea. And then later, sometimes in life, you'll be like, I was watching the way you were interacting with somebody. You have no idea that changed my life. It's like, really? Wow, thank you. So thank you for listening. I really, really want to help you just be your best. Look at your systems. Identify the broken areas. And then start working within yourself to heal yourself so that then you can help the broken areas. You are amazing. You, right there. You, I'm pointing to you, right there. You. I want you to take your finger and point back to yourself, just like this. Point back to yourself. You are amazing. And you say that to yourself. You are amazing. And you say your name. Tony Roten. You are amazing. And you say it again. And you say it again. And you say it again and again and again. Say your name over a hundred times. Saying that same thing over and over again. In different tones and different inflections. Until you start to feel it. Because you are amazing. Believe it. Have a wonderful day.